Hey, we kind of what's happening? Happy for 20 to everyone who is tuning in. Thank you so much for wanting to spend your 420 with me. Get high, smoke, talk some shit, get some trees. Now, listen, <clears throat> today's special is the Goo Wop special. Goo Wop, we got one for you. One for you, he say. Yeah. Goo Wop. Hey. Let me go ahead and re rock this motherfucking shit. Hey. <laughs> Not re rock. Hey, I'm talking some slang. If you know, you, you, you in the streets, you know. Well, you know, I'm just teasing. Just teasing, just teasing. But you already know it's a classic going on over here. I gotta take it out of the package and shit. So y'all can see. This motherfucker had all this shit shipped it to me. So, you know. Okay. The motherfucking Gooster, the bird, bird, bird print. You know what time it is. Yeah, yeah. You know motherfuckers always on some slashy, slick shit when it comes to the, you feel me, with the with the mail service and all that. But you know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna talk too much. You know, that shit legal now anyway, okay? So it can get mailed. You feel me? That shit is legal federally. You feel me? So it can go through the mail now. You feel me? Don't get it twisted, y'all. I'm so happy to be here with y'all. It is another 420 that we have survived today. Y'all, it's snowing out here. Yes, it's snowing out here in Detroit. And no, I don't appreciate it, but I did put on the lime green at the top and the black at the bottom. Because I knew today was going to come. <laughs> And that is to represent the channel, okay? Represent 420. I got the lime green, the black, you know what I mean, on the eyes. I know it's like a turquoise blue, but it was on the green section of my palette. So I to make it more lime green, I put a little under the line, under the eyes. So, yeah. And a little lipstick, but I've been riding around, so, you know, it's smoking. So, that's the war off and drinking water. But this is the 420 look today, okay? Happy 420, everybody. Welcome to we dun 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 kinda. I know y'all looking like, dang, her hands is like it. But then you got like this and like, I used to work at the post office. So in the summertime, I had the hat on, my sun hat, but my hands were exposed. So it was just baking in the sun. So that's why my hands have always been darker than my skin. See, look, I'm like five different complexions. I'm not even going to lie to you. <laughs> the beauty of being me, okay? So, we'll make up every match. Uh, so, when they be like, oh, look how dark her hands is. Like, no, look at my chest. Look at my arms. I mean, it's just like, I don't know. But yeah, this happened when I was in the pole work. It was so hot that summer too. It was like what? 2016, uh, yeah, so I used to work there. But anywho, on another note, we're gonna sit here and you know, smoke some trees and shit. And I was gonna ride around, but y'all, it's snowing. It's not like it was last year, 420, when we first did it. This is the second annual 420. We're celebrating with each other, yes. Not sponsored by, but provided to you by. <laughs> by me, via me. Okay, by way of me. And, y'all, I'm just like, what the freak? Like, today, like, did they do that on purpose? Like, did they purposely mess with the weather today? Like, because, you know, the Chauvin, Chauvin and, you know, George Floyd murderers. His case, his trial is today. 
okay Derek Chauvin so it's just like I'm trying to figure out they try it depend on the verdict what they the sentencing what they're gonna do and you know everybody's celebrating right now because of the verdict but I'm still waiting on the sentencing I don't know what that is yet I really don't but yeah we gonna smoke with the with the young dog the flower pack burr 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 hey and they call me gucci gucci oh my neck is so fruity yeah i am just so thankful that today i got the victory in court yes i did Y'all had court today, and they tried to get me, but Jigga Kelly not guilty. Okay. On um, some real is, and yes, this is the girl's real hair. I feel like I'll give you a, a good old natural vibe today. Okay, let you see what I'm really working with. My hair is so long. Like, this is poofed up, but when it stretches out and I flat iron it, it was so down. It's like down my bra, probably past my bra strap. I'm like, I did not know my hair could grow this long. Literally, it's just fuzzier and up right now because of humidity. But I had to say, I should have took some pictures of it because I don't like to put too much heat on my hair. That's why my hair grew so long. It's like way past my mom's. My mom had long hair. My shit all be down past my bra strap. I cannot believe it. I'm like, wow, my fucking hair look like Rapunzel. You hear me? My shit on some Rapunzel, Rapunzel. My mama like, dang. It's like, it's just thin, though. My mama, she got thick her all the way through. But I'm like, I think my hair thin because it gets so nappy. And when it was dry, I was pulling at it and shit like that. And um, it gets dry. And I was like pulling at it, trying to untangle it and pulling my hair out a lot. So I, got to say, I know that's where the thin part comes in at. But I'm going to just take care of my hair more. I didn't know it was that fucking long. I didn't know I had that much fucking hair. I was just frustrated how thick my hair was and how dry it, I could, you know, I was letting it get. And I, I swear that was my mistake. I wash it. Put conditioner in it and then I just let it sit and I without moisturizing and put oil in the stuff. And I did this time and I straightened it out. Of course it fuzz back up, but when my shit go now, like like my and this is just the bang, the bang, okay? Just imagine me just flattering in my shit. <laughs> like this all of my shit just getting flat ironed, okay? And that's just the bang portion, bro. Uh, the back of my hair is just like all the way down my motherfucking bra strap, yo. A little bit past it. I said, I got a fucking long ass tail back there. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, all this time, I could have had the longest hair in school out of all the black girls, even the black girls with the longest hair. My hair is longer than I'm like, damn, like, my, I did not know my shit could grow that long, but y'all know what I did? I stopped putting perms in my hair. I stopped putting perms in my hair. I stopped blow drying my hair. I stopped pressing my hair. I stopped flat ironing my hair. All I did was just wash it, grease it, condition it, and braid it up. Put it in some braids and put a wig on it. Y'all see? Throughout this, all these videos, I be having wigs on and shit. Yeah. My shit, when I sat on again, I'm not gonna do it one day, but I ain't gonna do it for a long, long time. Cause, like, it ain't about to get, you feel me? I ain't about to pull my hair back out, like, mm -mm. so I'm about to put my shit back in place the way how I got long. But when I, um, I'm telling you, my back is so long, though. It this is just a little piece I put, but when you get the all of it, ah. Uh, this shit and just imagine this is not even flat iron this is me trying to tug on it if it get flat iron it just gets so much longer it's crazy it is so crazy that's all in the back though i'm just like why why but I'm just happy it's not, I'm, but I'm happy it's kind of thin, not thick. It might be too much fucking hair you're dealing with. I ain't gonna lie. Thick and length. It got length on it, but I'm just glad it ain't thick, thick. With all that length, because that's too much for me. I'll be ready to cut, I'll be ready to cut this shit off. <laughs> for real. But, I'm loving my fro. Y'all been wearing it out. 
Like, my fro so big, like Shaka Khan's. I'm like, I'm about to wear this bitch. Ah, I want to let her breathe. You feel me? Let my baby breathe, breathe. It is so like puffy. Like, it give me we kind of natural vibes. You know what I'm saying? It give me we kind of vibes. Um, but yeah, healthcare, like, and all them girls be my, all, I mean, I ain't gonna say it, but, I don't know, it could be my jeans, too, okay, at the same time, it could be my, because everybody, my hair got long hair anyway, but, me and my one cousin wasn't growing up with the long, long hair, I had thick hair, but it wasn't long, long, it was, you know, I had length, but it wasn't long, long, but, that's because they was putting perms, and pressing, and blow drying, and gelling, and waxing, and ponytails, and all that stuff, just, Washing it, braiding it, conditioning it, greasing it, oil, keeping it oil. I mean, just braiding protective style. Not no type braid, but still protective, you know? And, uh, yeah, not till I got grown, knew how to take care of my hair, and my shit just shot down in the back. But this shit is so pussy right now. You know how black like girl magic go. I should be like this then. <laughs> you put a flat iron to it, shit down there, draw to the flow. I'm like, damn, my hair done grew so long. I'm like, I wonder how long, how long my hair been this long? Like, that's how long my shit is. I shit all the way down the front of my butt from bra strap in the back. I'm like, how long has my hair been this freaking long? Like, I really don't even remember shit. Like, when it be wet and curled up and bunched up, I don't be seeing, like, you know what I'm saying, length. Like, and this ain't even length. This is still frizzled. I mean, this length, but it's still frizzled up. Like, when it's flat iron, like, it just gets so fucking much longer. Like, me pulling on it, I can't really show you. But it's that flat iron. It's that stretch. I, I didn't flat iron it, but I put, like, a, um, a hot comb to it. The one that you plug in, and it stretched it out for me. Like a flat iron, you know what I'm saying? It was... I was bending it, curling it up on the end. It was so fucking pretty. It was so fucking pretty. But you know, the humidity and shit got it off. But I'm like, I like it when it get like this though. It's still manageable. I still can come through it. It's just, who is just humid, humid and froze up. So yeah, I might put some little color into it, like some little blonde, but not no on my hair though. I'm just gonna put it like with some clip-ons, put some clip-ons in there. Yes, this is my hair, okay? Let it be known, put some clip-ons in it, and let it just fuzz up and fuzz up like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, so I got the victory today. We had court today, today Tuesday, I had court today. And it was so fucking funny and live. Only in this motherfucking D. I swear, y'all. Only in the D. These motherfuckers be fooling. Um, the judge was just doing attendance. Somebody was in there that wasn't supposed to be in there. And he was like, well, y'all, I ain't call y'all. Y'all call me. Getting the attitude. And he was like, she was like, you need to go drink some coffee or something like that. Wake up, you know. And he like, I'm too young to drink coffee. I'm thinking myself, we can tell you young. So then he didn't even uh get off the Zoom. He didn't know that he was still on Zoom. He was like, man, these people, that attitude is sure anymore. He was like, are they all of being all over here being petty and shit? Well, are you going back and forth? Everybody was like, oh. the judge was like, Excuse me, you are still on Zoom. You're still like you didn't even mute and you didn't disconnect. He was like, oh, oh. He was like, yeah, you're, you're, you know, you're still in the courtroom. You have to remember, you have to still have courtroom etiquette. Just because we're on Zoom, I mean, you have to not, you know, conduct yourself and have courtroom manners and like that. And I was just like, what the fuck? This shit funny. So then she went on. So that nigga off. Then she went on to the payment. So she explained the process and the procedures and the methods of payment. 
and you know by way of tickets and all this shit like that so basically summing up is if you got plea guilty you pay and can you can pay today or give her a date then she was like or if you plead not guilty with you a court date so this one white bitch was dumb motherfuckers kept going in there kept going all into it this bitch gonna say uh yeah i, I drove her. she was like do you want to plead guilty because she already said she gonna dismiss her shit if she plead guilty and she ain't done she had to do is pay my girl was like, no, I got in the car and they didn't have insurance. She's like, that's not the law. That had nothing to do with it. She says, I'm free now. So she's like, so do you want to still plead guilty? She's like, do you still want to plead not guilty? She was like, yeah. I'm thinking, so like, girl, she's telling you right now you're going to lose. Then there's one nigga on there. <laughs> she was up here not even off into it. She going to say, um, she going to say, uh, yeah, what is it, um, you know, if you got more than one ticket and your license suspended, then you got to get it reinstated with the state. And however, however many tickets you got during that time that it's suspended, then you got to pay 45 times that number. So if you got three tickets and your license suspended, you got to get your, you can only get it back if you pay $45 three times. So this one guy was like, I got all the hills like these two identity thefts, that ain't me. And she was like, I didn't ask that. I didn't ask I'm not, I didn't say defense. No, I'm not taking no defenses right now. I'm like, duh, who said that? I'm looking on the screen and everybody's like, who the fuck just said that? Then this one black guy, he got on there. He up here explaining himself, over explaining himself. And the, and the attorney, you know, later on had told us like, y'all, you know, don't, he told him don't like, don't explain all that. He just don't want to hear all that. And he started playing anyway, and George was looking like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, really not even believe what the fuck he's saying. This nigga gonna say, all right, because the judge had already said, listen, the judge had already said, well, the attorney had put in the break room and said, listen, it's your insurance is automatically suspended or whatever like that. But he didn't say it clear enough because I didn't even have to understand any of that. You know what I'm saying? So, uh... Basically, that's what it is. So, if you got an insurance ticket, then it's automatically dismissed. So, uh, he, uh, he just, she just told him, like, okay, you're pleading guilty, and that's a, a such and such. Um, you're pleading guilty to a... You're pleading guilty to a wrong tag or no tag or some shit like that. You're pleading guilty, and... Yeah, it's a no tag or some shit. Like, even if we had our insurance, they still didn't care. They still made us plead. I'm just not thinking about that shit. Because that's what the one guy was saying. Like, I got my insurance. And she still made him plead guilty. Yeah, that's crazy. But one of them, I ain't going to lie, I ain't had insurance paid for, so it still worked out for my good. I ain't going to lie. One of them, I, I, had, I had insurance paid for one day. The other one... I mean, quarantine happened. You feel me? COVID came through and that fuck everybody up. You feel me? So, uh-uh. You know what I'm saying? But So, that's why that shit worked out for me. You know what I'm saying? I might got some of my things saying, like, just improper plates. But, you feel me? Hey, so then she's going to say. So, then she going to tell me I got those dismissed, but I got to pay for a speed ticket. And I said, uh, I already paid that. She's going to say, you. And I, she was, he was the judge going to say. So, so the attorney, like, well, she said she paid for it. He was like, well, she's here for two insurances and two tickets. Well, she's saying she paid for one of them, but she got another one. I'm thinking, like, and he was, she was like, and then he was, she then the judge was like, well, okay, then you got another one. That's why you, like, that. I'm thinking, like, that's why you got to pay. You know what I'm saying? But I'm telling her, like, because right, the thing of it is, is I'm like, I pay. But the attorney is talking about some, oh, the prosecutor's like, oh, no. She got another one besides the one she paid. So I'm thinking to myself, no, I don't. So then she's like rolling her eyes at me because I'm telling her, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, yeah. She, she's like, I'm like, yeah, I did pay, but I only pay, I only had to pay for one. I don't have another one to pay for because she's trying to make it seem like she's the right one. Like, 
like I said, you gotta pay for one because you got two speedings. And I'm thinking like, no, I only got one speeding and two insurances. You dismiss, you dismissing everybody's here for insurance or they got their, whether they showing you paperwork or not, and dilute, de, uh, decreasing it down to an uh, improper plate, and then your um make everybody pay for their speeding. And if they got anything else to go with it, pay for that too to reinstate their license. So. She's at home. She had to go to the courtroom because the court, you know, talked to the courtroom. The courtroom on there too. Looking at the computer, right? I thought the court computer person and then it's the court reporter. The only two people in the courtroom with the judge at home. So the judge like, okay, she'll tell her that she gotta that she got two tickets and she gotta pay for one a day, basically. That's what she was saying. Will you show her her ticket to her tickets? And, her? and then the guy got quiet. He like, and then so she said, do you see a ticket in there? She's saying she got, when she paid for it, but do you see the other one on there? And then he's still quiet. He's like, and I start shaking my head no. When he didn't say that, I just start shaking my head no like. He was like, he ain't say no, but he gonna say, I'm not showing anything right now. I'm thinking like, boom, boom, bitch. I don't pay shit today. Like she want to roll her motherfucking eyes and she ain't even say apologize for rolling her eyes and all that shit. So, um. He guess what he gonna say? I, he was like, "Yeah, the speed." And she was like, "What's the speed that you got in front of us today?" So she asked the court reporter. She like, "Well, she said she paid for one, but so what's the other one that you got in front of me today?" Because he's saying he's not showing up. He's like, "Only one I see was from 2018." Yes, y'all, 2018. They had me in court for today for 2018. She's like, "Yeah, I see you got two. I see you paid for one, but you do got another one." That's why she was rolling her eyes. And I'm like, "No, I already paid for." I'm thinking, I'm thinking to myself. How would I have to pay for another one if I just told you I paid for it? And it's just what she started going, trying to go in and saying, you got two of them. I'm like, I didn't have two of them. They brought us since 2018, y'all. Yeah, try to get me, okay? And it was on YouTube. Mm. So they getting money, too. The court won't get money. So um, now I got to take my black ass. I'm going to take my black ass. And I, so I looked at the thing. My, my shit ain't even suspended. So why she talking to some okay then? Well, you ain't got to pay a hundred and something dollars. You can pay forty. You got to pay ninety dollars. You ain't got to pay one hundred thirty-seven dollars. Something like that. You pay ninety dollars to the state because you're trying to save forty-five times too. And I'm like, I went on there and my shit wouldn't even spend it. So I thank God. So that way, I got the victory on all ends, all ends, all of it. But can you believe that he tried to charge me? They had me in there for today for to something from 2018. And when I told her I already paid for it, she like, what you mean? But you got another one though, like, duh, like, trying to, trying, trying to get an attitude. Okay, and then she was like, okay, well, thank you. Like that, trying to be nice. I was like, yeah, thank you. And hung up, I'm like, yeah, thank you. I ain't even smile at her or get no extra like that. Cause bitch, you trying to pay me. You gonna try to roll your eyes and shit. Bitch, you ain't apologize about rolling your motherfucking eyes at me. Because it was like holding up the court procedure one day when she thought I was going to say, okay, agree. I'm like, no, no, no. That's why I said I already paid for it. Because I'm thinking, like, I did get speed to you, but I already paid for that. Like, what are you talking about? The bitch like, I know you had. She's like, she didn't even know I paid for that one. She was like, she said she got one and she paid for it. She said, you paid for one? And the prosecutor was like, yeah, well, she has... Like I told her, she got two insurances this month, and she got two speeding. And then so they got the courtroom looking up. When he like, and then she got a, he said she got a speeding or something like that. I think he said I got one or two. I don't remember. But then she started looking, and then she had the courtroom looking up. Courtroom like, uh, I'm not showing anything. Yeah, she did pay for that one. And only one, only, only one I'm showing is from 2018. I'm like, okay, so why the fuck is that being brought up? So I check, I'm like, damn, I'm gonna have to pay for that. I'm like, better to pay for that hot ticket, but what else am I gonna have to pay for? It was like 265. She tried to tell me I'm pay for it. It's not like she said 137, 165, or something like that, but I could have sworn she said two. But no, she said 100 something. I thought it was gonna be 265. She was like, 137 dollars, something like that, she said. Oh, 175 dollars, because I already paid that already. I'm like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> I'm like, and then had I not paid for that one, I would agree 
and I would have been paying for some for 2018. And then the one I really had, it would not have even been paid. It wouldn't even been applied. If you think about it. She don't even know that she had already gave me the chance on that ticket to she already had and this sat, and this and guess what I was saying about the same damn judge. How about that? She had just already seen me last month and gave me the verdict of just pay that ticket, that speeding ticket off. No points, nothing like that. I just paid it. She's like, oh, you got another one. What were you telling her she got another one? Uh, after the prosecutor had told her, yeah, well, she has these two. And so she's going to roll her eyes. Okay, Corbin, when you tell her that she got two, like, on the, on the, on the prosecutor's side, you feel me? Why did she come back to me? Because I already think about this shit until now. Like, I'm going to talk to her with you. That's why, that's why she had rolling her big eyes because she's like, okay, well, you telling me you paid it, but this prosecutor said one thing. Oh, I'm going to believe the prosecutor. Ooh, I got some. These are the best, y'all. You on the road and you need something to eat, keep them in the car. Okay, they're not the motherfucking best. But yeah. Uh, Motherfucker's funny though. Like she don't know. Like I'm a thorough bitch. All right. I'm thorough and thorough. Okay. And thorough. Thorough and thorough. Except for earlier when I had asked them why my my food was so much, I had forgot I ordered rice and fried beans on the side. It didn't come to me. I was like, oh yeah. But when it comes to my business, okay. That's why I'm like, and I'm thinking to myself, like, damn, I was rude. I'm like, damn, I wouldn't even chip her when I said thank you. Because I thought about it, like, oh, thank you. But uh, that in hindsight, I'm glad I wasn't. Because I wasn't supposed to be. Because she's trying to get asked who, as soon as she hear the prosecutor say, yeah, that's right. She owes another ticket. Oh, well, there, that's, that's why you owe another ticket. You know? Corbin, when you tell her, I'm like. Then she was like, Corbin got quiet. He wouldn't even say nothing until you looked it up. And he like, what's the name? And what's the date? And what's that ticket number? And da -da -da, trying to ask questions. And, and she's like, okay, well, she's saying she got one suspended. He was like, oh, I'm not sure. He's like, yeah, I see that one. She's like, well, what about this one that's here in front of me today? He's like, I'm down since 2018. Oh, okay. Try to fucking screw me over 2018, y'all. Oh, From 2018. Try to screw me over 2018. Can't believe that shit. Y'all gotta watch these motherfucking courts. That's why. So that's why I'm going down there Monday tomorrow. It should not be snowing, okay? But I'm gonna wait out there and I'm gonna go get all my documentation from 2018. I'm gonna try to get like 2016 on, but you feel me? Like, can y'all believe that? This shit happened today in motherfucking court, y'all. I had the victory anyway, and I looked up my shit in the state. They was like, yo, shit is valid, big green valid. I'm like, okay. I'm like, I thought so because I ain't, my shit, I know my shit ain't suspended. But they have a police officer that just looked up my shit, not no ticket, not from getting pulled over or nothing like that, but just uh, an incident, we had to check my license. You feel me? Wasn't no traffic violation or like that. It was at the airport. So yeah. I'm like, I know my shit, man, because I heard him say, you know what I'm saying, clear or whatever. But, yeah, y'all, that's what the fuck happened. And that's some of the fucking bullshit. I mean, though. Dude, I am such a look today, y'all. I promise you, I am such a fucking look right now. <laughs> Happy motherfucking 420 for all of my... Joint hands, y'all. Look how my gaps are closing. Y'all remember I had them big ass gaps in my mouth? Except <laughs> right here. Look, y'all. We got these when December 28th, y'all came with me. Or something like that. Or the 30th or some shit. Mm-hmm. And my gaps are already closing. My gaps down here. I, well, my gums are getting a little thicker, but. My teeth are getting smaller, like they going up in my gums. <laughs> my y'all, uh, my my right here, and uh, up here, it really don't line up. Like they be clacking together, like 
Right. Like my teeth not even already down, but they already touching. See? Now look at this, it's already down. You feel me? So she said that my, my mouth gonna feel it's all gonna line back up again. I'm like, I hope so, because that feel weird. Like I mean eating to the side, like I'm constantly scraping the mic. My two teeth constantly scraping against each other, like I don't like that shit. But yeah, you guys, happy 420. It's a blessing to be here once again. It's our second anniversary of 420. Smoking and chilling with each other. I'm glad that happened today. I got a little story, a little story to tell y'all. Because I don't know what we're going to talk about today. I'm like, really ain't fucking nothing new. Really is fucking snowing. Really ain't nobody fucking outside. Really, I was busy today. Like, I was tired. I had to be there at 8.30. I was going like at 7.30. Getting ready. Praying and everything. And I'm like, by the time I made me some, I, while we were waiting in the break room, I'm like, I'm all the way at the end. Y'all, I cleaned up my kitchen, washed my dishes, made me some egg white omelet with some onions, green peppers, red peppers, and some spinach, okay? I made an egg white omelet with motherfucking wheat toast. And soon they came back, cut my shit off. My shit was done. Then they was up here attorneying with somebody else when got my shit and ate it. He was like, okay, y'all hang on to talk to the prosecutor. Okay, y'all hang on. Until the judge come back. When ate my food. By the time I came back, I hear her talking. I came back. Y'all like this. And that's how long it took me. I washed the dishes. I swept the floor. Took out the trash. Right down to the microwave, stove, the refrigerator counters okay motherfucking cook breakfast everything <laughs> like, that's how long they had this way plus i was like i'm at the end too i'm like my name I'm, like, I'm already at the end in my group my group is the last it was like nine break rooms like nine groups okay so i already knew i'm like they got all these people and people slow too so it's gonna be it'll take some time y'all that's how much time it was taking taking she tried to get up she tried to get smart though I'm like, well, that's how much time it took with the attorney was talking to everybody. And then right time she had to, because mm -hmm, she did everybody try to up together or whatever. She did mine earlier, so I didn't get to see everybody else. So I wish she would do mine at the end so I could see everybody else. But I was tired, though, y'all, after that. I had ate breakfast. I got up early. I went back to sleep. I ain't get out really so late. It's like 11 or 5 now. I ain't really get up. You know what I'm saying? I went and ran some errands, went to the post office, went to the dollar store, made some errands, went and got something to eat, stuff like that. But... Like, I was tired, y'all. Feeding the birds, and that's when I got up and just started coming out and I'm a little smoke on my people. I'm like, it's so 20, I gotta show up. I was like, I cannot have a channel called We Kinda and not want to fucking show up. Like, that don't even make no motherfucking sense. Do you feel me? And I'm like, I gotta find me somewhere where I could park. And it's safe. But. I don't know, they probably about to leave, y'all. And I'm gonna think I'm trying to rob them or nothing like that. <laughs> okay. So we about to pull up from here, y'all. And I wanna say thank y'all for tuning in and for coming again. I appreciate y'all for smoking with me. Y'all, it's just getting late and I don't even wanna fucking feel like dealing with the bullshit. Okay. Um, yeah, it's getting late. I mean like I'm on an app where I can um, play music now I just can't smoke on there like I can smoke on here but I'm on an app where I can play music you know what I'm saying and I'm loving my little 80s look and I'm like so spoiled from that let me see something Okay, yeah. All right, yeah, yes. I'm so spoiled from that. So it'd be like, when I now I'm just so used to listening to music and vibing. When I'm on the camera, it's just like, okay, uh, I got to get back into just having general conversation and shit. But how y'all motherfucking feel about? <sighs> okay, how do y'all feel about we and how it make you feel? Like. That's that's what we gonna talk about. We do we make you horny? Like, how do you feel? Like, okay, 
Like some people be saying, like with me personally, like y'all wanna know how I feel about it. Okay. With me personally, like we can make me feel like a number of things. You know what I'm saying? Like we can make me feel up, motivated. It could be a stress reliever. It could be a pain reliever. It can have me down. It can have me high. Like depending on the strands or, or, or where I'm moving them in or where I'm doing or like the environment or the purpose of the weed, depending on what I'm smoking the weed for. You know? And have we made me horny or can it? You know what? It it depends. With me, it depends. It's not like a definite yes or definitely no. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I could be, for example, with a bitch or a nigga that I'm fucking with and you know what I'm saying? And you just got that vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just connecting. Like, you will just, like, really, like, attracted to him sexually, okay? And it just gets you that, you know what I'm saying? Like, you hit that motherfucking balloon. And your loins get all tingling and shit. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, you know? And especially if it's some good weed. It can't be no fucking bammer. Like, no, it can't be no motherfucking weed that hey, like, you know, rego. You feel me? Like, you have to be, like, some strong. But then, you know what I'm saying? Just be in the mood. You should, especially if you're drinking or whatever. But we're talking about that. We're talking about weed on me. And then, uh, like, I was with this girl. Then this girl was smoking. And then she was talking about how she horny. I said, oh, what you gonna do about that? She said, what you gonna do about it? I said, what? And then she had me playing with her pussy, y'all. Yeah, I can't hear this shit out. <laughs> she did, though. And so, I'm like, okay, we may be horny. But then I could be with a homeboy that I don't like. Look, they got their motherfucking first wedding party going on. Everybody's fucking over there. I could be with somebody that I'm not attracted to and just that horny thought never comes to my mind. Like, because when she said she was horny, I'm like, shit, bitch, I'm thinking too hard. I'm horny too. Like, bitch, a man wants your fine ass, bitch. Thanks for the invite. You feel me? But, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the RSVP. That was a surprise party. You feel me? That bitch sprung it on me. I wasn't even expecting that. Anyway. So, she was hollering. Anyway. But, yeah. I'm like... Motherfucking real. <laughs> DJ, motherfucking real. Yeah. So, but I could be with my homeboy and don't even think shit of it, girl. I'm glad my, my crib is like dark as fuck. <laughs> my shit is motherfucking dark. You can't even see my route. <laughs> and I ain't even trying to make it dark. I could put some light on me now. Cause I'm in the crew in the neighborhood, but my motherfucking shit is so on point. But yeah, like, like my shit ain't got no lights and shit going my way home. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna fuck got to ride through the city, got to ride through the lights. I'm not I got the cat. So yeah, I'm just like, bitch. Think it damn cute with the thick ass, but it's been snowing all motherfucking day, y'all. And this is what the fuck they call 420. 
Really? What kind of shit is this? They hate me, huh? These niggas keep hating on me. Wack ass shit. So, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I'm telling y'all. Oh, uh, I gotta go check the motherfucking mail. I motherfucking forgot. I gotta check the mail, snail. I gotta check the motherfucking mail. Did you say you love me? You's a motherfucking. Bitch, you say you love me, you's a motherfucking lie. Okay. That's why I be telling niggas, they be telling me, like, I love you. Hey. Bitch, you say you love me, you's a motherfucking lie. We got a lot of me hoes. We got a lot of motherfucking kick it, especially. It's motherfucking snow, y'all. I'm about to prove to y'all it's fucking snow. It's fucking 420. And it's fucking snow. <laughs> you feel me? It's fucking snow. See how it makes my hand wet? It's this motherfucking snow. Cold ass snow. I'm telling y'all. What the fuck? That was off the mailbox. I'll screw that off the mailbox. You feel me? That just goes to show how much, how long it's been raining. I mean, how long it's been snowing. I threw a burrito out last night. Well, today, they don't even want the motherfucking burrito, y'all. What kind of shit is that? Oh, my bitch. I didn't want no more of that burrito anyway. I don't give a fuck if they ate it or not. That bitch was a little too salty. I do got to pee, y'all. Y'all, we can't have some motherfucking turn up. You feel me? We can't have some quick turn up, though. You already know what bitch got some flavor in me. Yeah. What's up? We kind of represent what it do. What's up? What you smoking on? Who you smoking with? You in your clique or you by yourself? What else to tell? Are you at a party or you feeling naughty? You feel me? I ain't about to freestyle for y'all right now. How are y'all feeling, though? I hope y'all high as hell because I'm trying to be. Okay, I'm high though. I ain't high as hell, but I'm high though. I ain't gonna lie. You know, I was driving, so now I feel like I can just relax. You feel me? Just relax and motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? Smoke. I love my little disc. I got the little disco ball from Amazon, y'all. I know y'all gonna go out and get it for y'all motherfucking uh, channel, but you whatever, it's all good. They seen it here first, okay? <laughs> Period. You know, I will be a pay, you know, a trendsetter, a pioneer. That's why I don't like motherfucking watching other people's shit, because you can't help but copy that shit. But you can't say that. Like, somebody just blame go out and get this and have a disco ball in the car. Like, y'all already know who started that shit. I ain't never seen nobody with a disco ball in the car. Ever. Okay? I don't even think they sell these no more. I ain't never seen nobody. You feel me? So, what the fuck? Copy my style. Jack and Jay-Z. Jack and Jay-Z. Uh, they Jack and Weed kind of, y'all. They on our shit. What the fuck? Tell them get off our dick. And that's on every damn thing. And that's what they gotta know. Happy 420. 
for everybody who tuning in. Happy 420 to everybody who celebrate the fact that we got this fucking great ass fucking natural. I mean, we love plants, but this is one of the ones that, you know what I'm saying, not only make you feel good, but you know what I'm saying, it's a healer, you know. I don't always want to pop Tylenol. I don't want to pop pills no more. But got them for the low, low. Don't make me smoke draw no more. I got my new goons. My new goons are more cut through. And I'm ready to that white bitch. We just eat low. Cocaine flow through, man. The cocaine flow. And then the run grams on the grams I have more. And then the two, the day, the days that they pay for. What they pay for, go. Go get away from me. I'm so icy entertainment. Then say O C C D I S E U C C I M A N E La Flair. You ain't heard about me. I'm Mr. Perfect. Perfect I am. Excuse Gucci man. Mr. Perfect, I am with, with Chamberlain, chain swing, and dog dangling, yeah. Heart dangling, pinky dangling, I'm blanking, I'm blanking. Hey, Mr. Perfect, new mixtape. I'm a gangster, how you loving that? Girl, you like my style. I'm a gangster, how you loving that? Oh, you like my style. I'm a gangster, how you loving that? Yeah, I'm against the how you love it, eh? Y'all, I made a Keisha Cole. I made a motherfucking Keisha K. Her. I be doing her products and shit, y'all. I be coming out with songs. Let me tell y'all my first song. Let me tell y'all this how to let the beat build, bitch, okay? <clears throat> my first time having Keisha Cole, right? Like, her large, like, I had to have somebody help me put the belt on like they would have to put their foot literally on me like to pull it i could not even wear her waist trainer belt y'all when i first got that shit like 2018 and um then like i've been losing weight or whatever like that on my diets and shit like that and i've been using her shitting products like her tea make you shit her detox cleansing tea um appetite suppressing tea and you know it's really like an appetite suppressant and it like make you shit like everything like clean your shit out. And I just been losing weight and my belt, the same size that I had got, but in this belt, it was like going, I, I could fit it more than the last one. Didn't nobody help me, but it was, it wasn't overlapping like this one. So when I first, um, the first one that somebody said to help me in, it had started fitting on me, right? Before the mesh went out, the mesh I went out. So I had to buy another one whatever. But by the time I, she ain't start fitting that bitch till the mess start running out. But the song I came up with was like, oh shit, I can finally fit my Keisha K. Yard to the beach. Uh, get out, stop rocking to the baby, baby. You know what I'm saying? I can finally fit my Keisha K. Or, and it was something like poop ponytails, two puffy ponytails, and like the 80s look, like something like this. Like, you know, I was imagining, like, I can finally fit my Keisha K. Or, you know, I can do the main thing. Uh, uh, uh. I can finally fit my Keisha K. Or, you feel me? So, that was the first song. Then, I was like, in her motherfucking um, tea. Her tea, bro. Her tea had me losing weight, like this stubborn weight. I was like, oh shit. I started getting attention. More, more. I got attention, but just I've been getting more noticeably more. I'm like, damn. And I've been noticing people saying, wow, you losing weight, you losing weight. You feel me? Like, noticeably. So I said, oh shit, Keisha K, you're getting me paid like a whore. Keisha K, you're getting me paid like a who? Keisha K, you're got me paid like a whore. And I get it, you get it. Yeah, Keisha K, you're. You feel me? So listen, when you hear me change my, that's just the end, that's a little, little sample sample. But listen, when you hear me change my voice, that's, that's, that's goo wop, okay? That's Gucci. So this is the whole rap. Yeah, no, this is the whole rap right here. Hold on, wait. Mm. Let me hit this and let me drink this. Hey, Keisha K, you got me paid like a whore. Keisha K, you got me paid like a who? Keisha K, you got me paid like a whore. Keisha K, you got me paid like a who? Keisha K, you got me paid like a who? Keisha K, you got me paid like a who? Keisha K, you got me paid like
Kisa K, you're get me paid like a whore, and I get it, you get it, yeah. Kisa K, you're Kisa K, you're got me paid like a whore, but I ain't gotta lay down, not even on the floor, bitch. How you get it? Oh, get with a half a bottle of brew in five minutes with a tea bag in it. Ah, Kisa, Kisa K, you're got me feeling like a whore, yeah. Ah, you really are so going. Keisha K. Yor got me paid like a whore. I get it. You get it. Yeah, Keisha K. Yor. Keisha K. Yor got me paid like a whore. I ain't got to buy shit. Not even from the stove. Bitch, how you get it? Ho, get with it. Half a bottle of brew in five minutes with the tea bag in it. Keisha K. Yor got me paid like a whore. Hey, do y'all think she would buy that shit? Especially that goo I'll probably She was like... Damn, how you get it? He be like, hold oh, it with a half a bottle of brew in five minutes with the tea bag in ah, Gucci, yeah. But the whole time while the bitch in the background still saying, Keisha K, you got me paid like a whore. Keisha K, you got me paid like a whore. Keisha K, you got me paid like a whore. I get it, you get it, yeah. You feel me? That shit sounds sweet as hell. Because <coughs> the motherfucking niggas kept on... <coughs> I mean, it was just like different incidents going in the, uh, going to the park, uh, the tire, the bell tire and shit. Oh man, oh sugar daddy up here trying to, trying, trying to offer me shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Like this thing, Keisha K.O. got me slimming down. <laughs> like, for real, for real. Got me smacking up songs and shit, y'all. <laughs> but anyway, y'all know how I do. Y'all know I always freestyle. Y'all know I always making up my own song. But I ain't about to hold y'all up. I don't want to be here too long. I thank y'all for tuning in. This is another 420, y'all. 420, 2021. Yay! Woohoo! Bunga, 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 Big dogs. All right. Let's go. Get that to ya. And then my man's of the late great. Oh, I'm trying to get high.